Hi everybody, Lemkin here. Today we're going to talk about punishment. This is a big one. Uh, punishment is probably one of the most important skills you're going to have to develop if you want to be successful in Tekken 8. So today we're going to talk about punishment. Uh, it doesn't really matter what character you play, this video uh, uh, will be useful uh, to you. I'm going to be showcasing Law today and how I punish with Law and his uh, different punishers and stuff. But all of this knowledge will apply to every character. You just have to go find what, which punishers do you do your uh, personal character have because uh, your mileage may vary a little bit from character to character. So, for example, Law, he has a good 12-frame punish, he doesn't have a good 13-frame punish. Or someone like Yoshimitsu, he will have a pretty decent 13-frame uh, punish, but he doesn't uh, have a really, very good 12-frame uh, punish. Um, so, yeah, uh, I'm going to be going over Law today, and we're gonna later in the video I'm going to be showing a clip compilation of... Uh, I'm going to be going through every single character in this game, and I'm not going to go through the whole move, move list because that would just take days. Uh, but <laughs> I'm going to go through all, uh, some of the key moves for every character in the game and show you how to punish uh, that to give you kind of an idea how this works. So basically, punishment, how does it work? Well, there's, uh, it has to do with frame data, of course. So let's, let's just jump uh, right into it. We have uh, a move which I will be showcasing with Law here. Let's say... We have this move right here, forward, forward, free, or DSS, forward, free, uh, you can also do it, right? As you see in the little gray box uh, down on the left side of the screen, it says plus 13 frame advantage. This is because this attack right here is minus 13 on block. And now you're thinking, well, it says plus 13. Well, because we always say, we always uh, use these notations relative to the character using the move. So the character in question right here is the opponent who uses this move. And if it is blocked, it is he is minus 13 on block. So for me, it's plus 13, meaning that I have 12, or sorry, 13 uh, frames of advantage right now. Meaning that uh, there is, and because uh, it's on block here, there is 13 frames where he is in recovery animation. And I, I recover from my block stun animation 13 frames faster than he do, do. Uh, meaning that I have 13 frames to use a move to punish him, as he cannot press anything or do anything. He cannot block for 13 frames. So I use this to my advantage because I have attacks that come out at 13 frames or faster. I have a one jab comes out at 10 frames, for example. I have a down one, uh, for, uh, uh, down forward jab comes out of 13 frames. I have a 3-4, comes out of 12 frames, right? I have a couple different options, and if you, as you will notice, if I press one of these on block... Let's do it again. You see how it says punish? The little punish uh, uh, word, it, it lights up in the, this, this little great box. It's because I, I use this as a punish within the 13 frame window. So the, uh, this is uh, quote-unquote guaranteed. There's, there's nothing he can do to block this. I see it's minus 13 on block, and I'm using a 12 frame move right here to punish his move. That's how punishing works, basically. Now, uh, we'll, let's go through the, the specifics of it. So this uh, dragon cannon right here is minus, uh, minus 13 on block. Most uh, mid power crushes are minus 13 or minus 14 as a rule of thumb. There is a couple of uh, uh, like exceptions, uh, but that's the, the, the general idea, right? So. Minus 13, we can do 112 here. It's 10 frame punish, 22 damage. We could do uh, his 12 frame punish, 4, uh, 3, 4. So let's let's go through the, the real quick before we continue. Let's go through Law's punishers. So his 10 frame punish is 112. This right here. This is a natural string on hit or on uh, counter hit as a punish, whatever, right? And you can go into DSS by holding forward. So on hit, you'll get uh, plus six uh, frame advantage. If you go into DSS, you get plus seven. So you get the quote-unquote mix-up here, right? Uh, you're, you're in a heavily advantageous position after landing this as a punish. Then you have uh, his 12-frame uh, punish, which is 3-4. Uh, um, this one right here, also a natural sting, of course. Two highs. Very good as a punish, especially when you, your opponent is up against a wall, because this will wall splat, 1-1-2 will not wall splat. Um, and then we have his 14 frame punish, which is 3 plus 4-4. Four, four. And his 15 frame punish, which is his down forward 2. Like this. You could also use hop kick. It is also 15 frames. 
Um, but most people prefer uh, downfall too. It depends on the situation, I guess. But you might be thinking, hey, what about his 13 frame uh, punish? Well, he doesn't really have a 13 frame punish, and uh, you say, and you may say, oh, Lamb King, but but he has a uh, down forward uh, one right, and it guarantees on hit uh, the two first hit or the three first hit of his 10 hit string. Well, yeah, it does. But the problem is that this comes, uh, although this comes out of 13 frames, and all those these second uh, two hits are uh, guaranteed on hit as well. If you hit the down for one, you see it only gives 22 damage, whereas your 12 frame punish, your free four, gives 32 damage. So you're missing out of 10 damage, plus uh, the fact that you're you're actually in a disadvantageous position after landing this this because you're minus one uh, even on hit. You see, so this is not a punish. Don't ever use this, please. <laughs> so so let's 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 do a situation like this. This is minus uh, 13, so I would use my uh, my free four uh, punish like like this. Now you could choose, even though it's minus uh, plus 13, and uh, this deals more damage than a 112. You could still choose to do 112 for 22 damage if you want to go for a mix-up. You could uh, decide to go for like into DSS, into a slide mix-up or something, and then you get all of a sudden much more damage than you would have gotten if you just got a free four. Now there is a so so that's a you know. Uh, a couple different uh, situations. You you might want to, but of course, while, by doing this, it's not guaranteed. So you're risking uh, damage, right? You're, you're you're leaving a little bit of damage off the table in in uh, in the uh, hopes that you can get extra damage if you if you guess right on a mix-up or if you 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 read your opponent correctly, right? So, uh, but there is a couple of instances where I would absolutely always use. Uh, free four. Of course, if if your opponent is low HP and free four would kill, then use free four. Of course, because uh, what, then why would you use uh, one one two? And as I said before, uh, if your opponent is uh, with their back against the wall and you have to punish them with a 13 frame or 12 frame, always use free four because it will uh, it will wall splat. And one one two will not wall splat. So there you go. And again, uh, your mileage may vary from character to char character. You're gonna have to go through your specific character, find your 10 frame punish. Your uh, maybe your character has an 11 frame uh, uh, punisher. Most most characters don't, but you probably do have a 12 frame or a 13 frame, maybe bo both. But you will definitely have a 14 frame and a 15 frame punish as well. Most characters ha have a 15 frame launcher. And when something is uh, fift uh, minus 15 or more, that's when we call it launch punishable because. Uh, Pretty much every character has a 15 frame uh, launcher. Well, every every character does. But uh, let, okay, let's see. Let's let's go through some more examples. So that was the 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 forward forward free here. It's, it's an example of uh, how to punish that. And uh, let's look at something else. What do I have here? Okay, this this if you see this is minus 17 on block. So uh, one of, most of his flip kicks have been reverted to uh, minus 14. But this is uh, one that is uh, that is still minus uh, 17 at close range, minus 15 at uh, a little bit of a range, oh, minus 16 there. But this is a is a good example of a move that is launch punishable. So I could use down forward two to get a launch uh, right here. I was a little bit slow on that. You see, there is a, it says punish. You see. So I get my uh, my combo here. There you go. Um, so you you should be aware which moves from your opponents are launch punishable and be ready with your down forward two or your hop kick or whatever you have, right? Um, okay, let's see. What do we have here? Yes. So th this is uh, something I wanted to showcase as well. Now in in the clip compilation I'm gonna show you uh, later in this video you may s see me uh, use different uh, what what may seem like suboptimal punishes on some moves and that is because uh, not every even though something may be um, punishable on paper you probably noticed already that Tekken is not played on paper and it doesn't always uh, necessarily work out as it is uh, written on paper so this for example loss while standing 2 is a move that is minus 18 on block that's very launch punishable but if you notice the pushback here it makes it so that I cannot actually punish this with my 15 frame punisher so the optimal punish here is not to do a down forward 2 
or a hop kick, uh, if I'm law at least. Maybe your character has uh, something that can reach uh, him from here with the uh, 15 frames, but all I have right now is my 14 frame punisher, my 3 plus 4 4. So in a situation like this, 3 plus 4 4 becomes the optimal punish and not down forward 2. So keep keep that in mind. Um, let's see. Now what else do we have? Let's see. Ah yes. Now uh, stepping. Stepping is also something uh, that that you, you you have to you have to practice, and which in which direction you have to step uh, depends on the character you're playing against, and it depends on the move because every character is are uh, weak to on one side to stepping, and they also have moves that track to their weak side. So uh, that's that's a a little bit there's a lot uh, in that, but. We'll go that, through that in detail some other day, maybe. But for now, all you need to know is that a lot of moves can be stepped uh, to, uh, to one side or the other or both in this game. And when you step, basically what you're doing is you do, you, you, you're stepping and punishing, or you're doing technically a whiff punish, right? The move whiffs as you step them and you do a punish. You see, as they're still in recovery frames, it says punish down in the little gray box. I can, I can launch punish him with a down for two. If you're if you're fast enough, depending on also what move you you have, you might get even a back turn punish right. And in Lost uh, case, his junkyard combo would be a pretty devastating back turn uh, punish. Then we have uh, parrying, which you can also do in a situation like this. I wouldn't recommend parrying as uh, you get more you get a launch from stepping him right here. But know that that is also an option. Uh, and again, your mileage may vary from character to character. Maybe you, maybe your character doesn't even have a parry. Most characters has either a punch parry or a manual parry, but uh, it's not a given in this game. Uh, something that is also important, and this is a, a topic for a longer video as well that I might I might make in the future. But you you need to know about a whiff punishing in terms of like uh, forcing a whiff or a back dashing back dashing to 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 create a whiff. Um, it will look something like this. See how I'm, ma I'm making him whiff by uh, controlling this the spacing right. I'm co Korean backdashing to to whiff punish. I know it says counter because that's because he's pressing right now. But the, that's that's the basic of uh, th that's why movement is so important in this game as well. You're gonna have to force whiff punishes and and make your opponent whiff in front of you so you could punish them as well. And what you use for whiff punish it might might depend on what they are whiffing. If you want to do something safe, you might do like a one one two. If you if you if you got a read, then you might do like a down forward two or a three plus four forward. Uh, if you're at a more of a distance, again it depends. You got you can see some examples in the in the video at the at the end of a uh, of of this little showcase right here. All right, last thing you need to know about here is uh, low parrying, which is also a defensive skill that uh, you're gonna have to work on. Uh, let, let's see, uh, Law he has this. Uh, this move right here is called Junkyard, and a lot of characters have different strings that have low in lows in build them in them. Even if I block this, it won't stagger him or anything, so he'll still finish the string, and he can do pressure from here, which is really bad for me, right? I have a couple options. Uh, I could could parry it if I'm feeling like very. Uh, uh, inclined, <laughs> although I wouldn't recommend that. The best thing in this scenario would be to low parry this attack every time. So, and and you do the low parry if you look at my command history. You, you do the low parry by pressing down forward while they are doing a, an attack. And it should also be noted here that attacks that are weapons, so that would be nunchucks or knives or swords or pistols or something like that, cannot be parried or low parried. So keep that in mind as well. But uh, and, and knees and elbows and hip uh, strikes and headbutts and stuff like that cannot be parried as well. And there are some kicks and punches that can't be parried, but those are mostly charged up uh, moves. Uh, but but other than that, gen the rule of thumb here that is that pretty much every kick and punch uh, can be punied, p p parried. Sorry. Uh, and this is certainly one example. Uh, so you do a low parry by uh, doing down forward as their attack is about to connect on you. And you get this little animation right here and it bounces instantly. So you get not a big combo but a little juggle combo. I suggest on law, I suggest a combo like this. Up for four. So four up three. And then into junkyard, legend kick. Something like that. You get 46 damage. If you want to get a heat pressure on wake up, 
Um, you can do something like this. There you go. So that's that's the that's the low parry. Okay, let's talk about while standing punishment for a little bit. Now, whilst while standing punishment in, is when you go from doing an attack from crouch, and then let go of crouch, or you are going from crouch to a standing position like this. As you press a button, you ha you have a different uh, move that you can do from whilst while going from crouch to standing. So, for example, if I just press four. I'll just get this kick right here. If I press 4 while going from crouch to standing, I get this while standing 4 right here. And if you're a little bit confused as to why it's called while standing, well, we, usually people call it while rising, and I believe that in the game it is called while rising as well, but people has always, have always used the notation while standing because there is also while running moves in the game, and the notations for those are WR while running. To make it easier, people uh, uh, have started calling it while standing instead. So that's why you will hear some players refer to this as, to refer to this as while running, which is like technically the correct term. But for, uh, for reasons of uh, clarifications, to make this a little bit more easier, uh, a lot of people, especially legacy players, they call it while standing. So while standing punishment is a little bit uh, different kind of game. You have different options from going uh, to uh, from crouch to standing. Um, and I had to switch to Jack here because uh, what I wanted to show you can't show with law here. So some characters they have moves that force you into crouch even though they are uh, heavily minus on block. Uh, law doesn't really have that. He has a dragon hammer, but that one's plus on block. But let's see, Jack here he has his uh, one one is it? This one. It is minus 14 on block and it forces crouch as you can see. Now. Uh, I have a different options with law as while standing punishment. I have an 11 frame while standing 4, like this. And of course I can go into DSS by holding forward. And I get the mix up uh, potential. Wait. I can I can do all my uh, my, my different DSF st DSS stuff from here. Uh, so that's the uh, 11 frame uh, pun while standing punishment. Then I have a 13 frame which is while standing 1-2. This one which will also wall splat and if they don't roll this attack as well you get guaranteed hits here um, and then of course while standing 2 which is the 15 frame launcher like this so let's let's see for example uh, this uh, attack uh, jacks 1 1 is a uh, minus 14 on block uh, forces crouch so in this situation I would do while standing 1 2 like this that's that's the optimal punish in this situation and for attacks uh, you will of course also use while standing punishment when you're blocking low attacks. Um, so let's see, something something like this is more safe on block, but it is uh, this is minus 12. Do you do while standing four here? Maybe while standing four into DSS, something like that. And for moves that are more um, punishable, like uh, minus 15 or more, you d you use. While standing too, to get your launch. That's how while standing punishment works. Alright, now... That, that's a little bit of a... What do you call it? That's, that's a little bit of a overall uh, look at punishment. What is it? How does it work? And all that, right? Again, you're gonna have to go through uh, your own characters to experiment a little bit. What is your what is your punisher? Punishers. Maybe you want to look at a char character specific guide for punishing. But now you know the basics of it, so you know what to do, right? Uh, so I hope that has uh, inspired you a little bit. And now I'm gonna show you a clip compilation where I showcase a little bit of how to punish the some of the main tools, some of the uh, most uh, popular used. Uh, strings and attacks from from every character in the game um but yeah until we meet again uh, have a good one
Patrol! 